Hello and welcome. This video shows an open pylorum myotomy in a one month old boy. A transverse two centimeter incision is placed in the right upper abdomen. The incision is placed at the level of the edge of the liver. The edge of the liver is in view of aligning the pyloric mass. It's retracted upwards to expose the stomach, then the gastric antrum is gently grasped. It's important not to grasp the mass itself to avoid serosal tears. Then with a gentle, steady rocking movement, the mass is exteriorized. The limits of the mass is clearly visible. It ends abruptly on the duodenal side and gradually on the gastric side. The mass is held steady between two fingers. A superficial seromuscular incision is planned in the least vascular plane. A superficial cut is made in the serosa and the superficial part of the muscle. To do that, the knife should move nearly parallel to the surface. The incision is limited to the palpable thickened muscle. Then the blunt tip of a fine hemostat is pushed gently to split the muscle fibers. Then with the curve of the instrument, a steady spread of the muscle is achieved with the tip pointing upwards away from the mucosa. Avoid extending into the duodenum to avoid its perforation and make sure that all muscle fibers are split on the gastric side to avoid recurrence. Now the mucosa is seen intact and bulging in the bed of the incision. After the mass is replaced back into the abdomen, compression is applied for a few minutes to achieve hemostasis. Mucosa perforation can be tested for by injecting air in the NG tube and watching for bubbling. The incision is closed meticulously in layers using non-absorbable sutures. Finally, the skin is approximated with subcuticular absorbable sutures. Thank you for watching.